What's up, Wayne Baron here with DrFakes.net, and we are inside of Adobe Edge Animate. And uh, I just re recently received a, uh, a question about how to do um, 3D block animation. Basically, you take a square and then you rotate it uh, within um, your Edge Animate composition. However, there are several ways of doing it which require a lot of coding and um, neither myself nor the uh, person that asked about it wants to do a lot of coding and so I just received in some information from a, a gentleman named Rob about a new component uh, or plugin as you may call it inside of uh, your Edge Animate and it is called Edge Hero. Let's take a look at it. Right, bring it up. There we go. It's called Edge Hero, and it's got some really cool examples here that shows you how to do 3D animation with your blocks. And uh, not really sure exactly what this is. I'll, I'm uh, just now jumping into it, so whatever I learn, I'm going to upload videos on it about this. It's uh, uh, so far, I'm very pleased with it, and. Uh, uh, it's free to use. Uh, you can donate five dollars to uh, help uh, Rob and his crew uh, continue to develop this wonderful plugin. And so let's go ahead and jump into it. And uh, what we're going to do here is that we're just going to animate our little bitty block over here. So let's say that you have a banner, which is basically what the other uh, person had asked about was creating a banner with a 3D object in it. So let's go ahead and do that. Alrighty, with our new composition here, let's go ahead and draw out our banner the width that we need that and then let's add in an inner banner to that one. Let's give that one a red and give this one well, let's give it a white, and then let's come over here, and there we go. Yeah, that looks good. All right, so now the next thing that we want to do here is that we want to add in a um, block right here. But we want to make them the, the same dimensions all the way around. So let's go ahead and do this one as, let's unlink it, and let's do this one as 60 and 60. Okay, so let's bring that up to there. That looks good. So now we need to have uh, seven of these. Okay, so let's go down here and let's first let's name this container. Okay, now let's uh, copy it. Control C, Command C on the Mac and Control V, Command V on the Mac and let's paste six of them. So that, no, seven of them. Three, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, right here we're going to name this one cube, and this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, let's come over here to our elements, and we've got our container. Let's drag it to the top. And our cube, drag it right here. Oops, right there. Now let's grab a hold of one through six, drag and drop it on top of cube, grab cube, grab cube, drag and drop it on top of container. So we got container as parent, and then cube as a child of parent, and then one through six as children of cube. Okay, so now the next thing we want to do here is go over here to container come up here to the top to our class click on here type in container that's C O N T A I N E R and then type in perspective P E R S P E C T I V E underscore 1000 okay now let's come over here to cube click on class open it up type in cube and then cube 3d and then whoa cube 3d and then spin 3d okay so we got cube cube 3d and spin 3d on our container we have container perspective 1000 
this a T goes right there. S P E S P E C T I V E underscore one thousand. Okay, I feel better now. We got all that right. Now, next thing we need to do is need to come over here, and then uh, whenever you first get on here, it's uh, edgehero.com. We come over to edgehero.js. We click there. We come down to here. And what we're needing is this code right here. Okay, so we just select this, right click, copy it, come over to our stage, click here, create, com I'm sorry, creation complete, and then paste in that. And the only thing this is, is that this links. Now you can easily download this and put it onto your uh, server or whatever, or you can link directly. Hopefully Edge Hero will stay up without any problems. But to be safe, you might want to download this. Now, he does update it fairly often, so you might want to check back on the site to see when a new update is has been released, and then update yours as recommended. So, okay. Now, with everything done, so we've got our stage, and then we've got our container and our queue. Remember, everything right here has to be children. If it's not children, then this is not going to work. Let's go ahead and go here, and there we go can barely see it so let's come over here and let's change some colors let's go to two let's go to three four five and six Okay, now let's take a look at it. Okay, so there you go. Okay, now if you do not have your uh, squares, each one of these blocks, if they are not the same dimension, then you will have spaces. So let's just say hypothetically our, uh, we've got a 65 and a 65. Okay, what's going to happen there is that as you can see, it's going to break it. I mean, it depends on what type of effect that you're going for. Uh, you can actually make it smaller to where it actually looks like it's it's um, going in. So let's do uh, 45 and come over here to this one and change this one to 45. Like I said, it all really depends on what you're after. And so you can get some really cool effects here. Uh, you can basically make this really weird looking so you can just play around with it and give it all sorts of really cool effects so all right wayne baron here with darkeffects.net do not forget it is uh, edgehero.com and this is the code that you want once again you access it by hitting the edgehero.js once you go there you roll down here and then you choose this all right wayne baron darkeffects.net with edgehero y'all have a rocking week now bye bye